हेलो हेलो एवरीवन गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून हेलो मैं स्क्रीन विजिबल ओके सो आई थिंक वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड एक्सेप्शन ओके सो यस ओके सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू शो slides exception handle okay so exception handle one of the powerful mechanism to handle the runtime error so that the normal flow of the application can be changed so uh, i think we have already discussed about this is that is a runtime error a type of runtime error but we can handle it if we use exception handler okay and uh, what is exception exception is a, a abnormal situation at the time of execution of our program okay so that is uh, we can say unexpected situation we have not expecting this type of situation can be arise at the runtime that is exception okay and uh, there are many types of exception so uh, like uh, class not found except io exception sql exception remote login a remote uh, exception so we have multiple classes with the help of these classes we can handle the exceptions and uh, what is the advantage if uh, we use exception handle in our programming code so if uh, at a run time if any exception will arise uh, then it can be handled means uh, our program will not terminate it will continue but only uh, we will get the uh, message related to that exception okay and uh, it's uh, here you can see this uh, suppose there are multiple state based statement when statement 2 statement 3 and in statement 5 uh, uh, acquire a, any type of exception so uh, our program will continue it will execute uh it will not be interrupt okay an example explanation okay and here this is a hierarchy of classes so throwable and all classes mostly classes belong to java.lang package okay so we have not need to import any class for uh, exception and the parent class of the exception is throwable throwable to sub classes exception and error and uh, exception have uh, multiple sub classes like io exception sql exception class not found exception runtime exception and runtime exception have multiple uh, classes sub classes like uh, arithmetic exception null point exception and number format exception index out of bound exception okay and uh, are index of bound exception and uh, string index of bound different types of exceptions okay so we can say uh, two types of exception checked exception and unchecked exception checked exception compilers know this type of ex uh, exception so at the time of compilation co compiler uh, force to user to put the exception handler okay but unchecked exception all time all runtime exception are unchecked exception and uh, the compiler don't know about this type of exception so compiler don't force to user a developer to put the exception handler uh, code in your programming code and okay 
So there is checked exception, checked exception, like IO exception, SQL exception, file not found exception, class not found exception. Uh, these, these are the checked exception. An unchecked exception, like runtime exception, arithmetic exception, null pointer exception, array index upbound exception, these are the unchecked exception. For handling of exception, Java provides five keywords, try, catch, finally, throw and throw. One by one, we use all keywords of exception. Okay, so uh, uh, we put the all code uh, in try block, and if uh, try block will found any exception so it will create the object of that class and throw from this block okay and catch catch will catch the catch that object and save in the reference of that class okay so one by one we will use it i think we have done some one example i think okay so now i'm Going to create another examples. Okay, it's taking time so we can create example in notepad no problem so class suppose we have a class name is uh, and suppose okay and this class private First, private int. Suppose, suppose we have two properties in calc class. Okay, now we are going to create a method. We can pass two parameter in x and y and first is equal to x, second is equal to y. Okay. After that, I'm creating another method. Suppose it's just an integer type value. It will return a number after dividing first number by second number. First by second. Okay. But here I'm creating another method. Double output. 
that is the sorry uh, it would be double type sorry white type and here plus here result it's okay so here we have two uh, one class calc we can specify any name and uh, it have two properties first and second through set value we are trying to set the value of first and second and it will return an integer type value this method after dividing first number by second and through this method i am trying to print the value of result method okay so here it will be method so i am calling this method in output method okay and after that i'm going to create a a main class First value same as you can put second value. create the object of calc obj dot set value we can pass here num1 comma num2 and here we can call dot i think uh, output Method name is output. Okay. So yes, yes, yes. Now, so I'm going to create a new project. Now I'm going to create a class. Class name is Calc.
help same as we are going to create another class that's demo okay any doubt any queries anybody else okay now I'm going to execute this I suppose uh, we want to execute this ten times or five times okay so you can declare here a okay. Now I'm going to execute this. the first value suppose the first value second value no problem no problem suppose by mistake we put zero as a second value then it will show and program has terminated okay but suppose we are going to use here try catch <coughs> First value, second value, third value, by mistake zero, then it will show only the message, don't divide by zero, and we can input, program will be continue, okay, okay, but here we can use A method print stack test. Okay, what is the use of this? You can see here. Uh, in last execution, it will only show the message related to that exception. Okay, but suppose here we are using print stack test. You see here? First value. Okay, second value, suppose third value, zero, and see here. Okay, program is continued, no problem. We can input. Okay, it's working, no problem. So, this is a predefined message, sorry, user defined message, and this is the output of here. You can see this. print stack trace because print stack trace also performing the tracing the exception will have add that uh, position so here exception first exception has arise at line number 13 calc class line number 13 second it arise at uh, line number 17 in calc class and line number 18 in demo class there's a position where the exception has Right, right, okay. So, line number 
13 uh, print is uh, print is stack trace also print the line number where exception has arised okay so here uh, let's see like suppose the line number is first line means exception has arise at line number calc java 30 line number 13 here this position okay second position is 17 means this position okay after that demo java 18 line number 18 means this position 18 so this exception uh, has arise at these line numbers okay so only one exception has I, at three position how it's possible so actually here so first of all the exception has arise at this line okay at the time of division if a user uh, try to uh, division by zero then it will show it will return a exception but here uh, we are not using try and catch or ex any exception handler okay so there are three lines one line and second line and third line in demo there are three lines where exception has arise so how to resolve this so suppose here i am going to use try catch try But we cannot release return in try. So here we can use int uh, is equal to zero. Or this is equal to first of all second and after the catch return okay it's okay because exception has arrived at this line so i use try catch i block uh, i write this instruction within the try block now i'm trying to execute it and you can see this first value suppose 10 and divided by 0 then output 0 uh, and uh, except I arise but program is continue no problem program is any okay uh, we got the message related to that uh, exception but program is continue no problem but suppose uh, there are three th three position means result method output method and main method suppose we want to use try back try catch at this in output Again, I'm going to execute this. So, divided by zero, exception has arise. But our exception has resolved. No problem. Means we can add try catch any position if we use try catch 
in result menu result method so we can resolve this if we use try catch in output then we can also this position we can resolve this okay but suppose we are removing it and i'm trying to use this try catch here suppose it's all already i use here okay again i'm going to then okay exception has arrived but resolved so we can write anywhere uh, we can use try catch anywhere and we can resolve this what is the meaning of this if we use try catch in result it resolve if we use try catch in output it resolve if we use in demo demo class main method it also resolve here what is the meaning of this we can use try catch anywhere and we can resolve this any idea rest of all any idea actually exception arise arise at that position and the exception class name is arithmetic exception an arithmetic exception is a runtime exception and all runtime exception and in other word we can say all unchecked exception have propagation propagation means movement it can resolve it can move from one location to another location means exception has arise at this position but here we are not using try catch okay so it will move from this position to at that position where we are calling this method okay here if we use try catch so it will resolve no problem but if you are not using uh, try catch here so again the object of arithmetic exception or any unchecked exception move from this location to at this location where uh, we are calling this method so actually output we are calling here so exception object move from output method to main method and here we are using try catch so it will resolve so we can use anywhere here it's showing three lines so we can use try catch on any location on any line and we can resolve this because arithmetic exception is a unchecked exception if uh, in the result or uh, output will arise checked exception so we cannot resolve this through a single try catch okay so here if unchecked exception will arise so we can so all unchecked exception or runtime exception have propagation movement it will move from one location to another location where that method is calling so suppose uh, but that property is not that at uh, that property uh, not exist in uh, checked exception so how to do this so uh, for this uh, solution suppose uh, a checked exception will arise in this line so how to resolve this okay so for this purpose suppose i'm going to copy this okay no problem here yeah. so suppose uh, a checked exception will arrive at this method so we use throws i o exception r exception these are these are checked exception so if we want to perform propagation in checked exception we use throws 
okay and you can see this here because it will return through the object of io exception and sql exception that will reach at this position so it will showing error okay so we can also use this exception with this method then it will resolve so throw is used to make a block uh, exception free block so we use throws if here i have declared I only exception this will throw all types of exception because exception is a parent of all type of exception okay so uh, here i am throwing checked exception so if we want to perform propagation in checked exception we use throws so throws make a exception free block so we use throws okay then uh, so uh, if exception will arise in this line so uh, throws throw the that object from result method to at that position where we are calling this method so it will throw from it will reach at in this location here we are using throws are you exception that will reach at demo line number 18 like this you can see here showing error okay so we, uh, we can all uh, again we can use throws here and we can resolve this okay but this is not a good programming we can't use throws with main method. You can use this, but is, uh, this is not a good program because it will reach at JVM because JVM calling this method. So if we throw any uh, exception that will reach at JVM and we uh, already maintain it as a wide means we are not throwing anything to JVM. So here we are using the, uh, return type is bad so it is not a good programming we can use here like this but at the place of this we can use try catch so here add another catch of io exception and sql exception at the place of throws so please avoid to use throws with main method okay so if you want to perform propagation through the checked exception we use throws so throws is used to make a accept exception free block okay and that is the alternative of try catch we can use at the place of try catch okay here we are not using throw so at the place of throws we use try catch Okay. Any doubt? Any queries? Okay. And uh, we have another block. Name is finally. Okay. Suppose here I use finally. So what is the use of finally? So finally, it will execute in either exception will arise or not. In both situation, it will execute. Like here, suppose ten two program is continue. Okay, no exception. There is no exception, but it executed. In any situation, it will execute. Program is continue. Exception will arise or not. In both situation, it will execute. So, uh, if any instruction you want to, uh, the execution is must. So, 
compulsory that instruction execution of that instruction is compulsory so you can declare in finally okay we can use finally only one time in a try block means if you have a try block you can we use after try we use catch okay we can use multiple catch no no problem as per our requirement we can multiple catch we can use same as we can also use finally after the try okay at the place of catch but it will work on only as a finally it will not work as a catch okay but we can use finally only one time with a try block okay and suppose we want to use we can use finally here finally finally okay we can if i use finally after the try that and also we can use after catch we can use finally here okay and but we can use only one time finally block with try if you have a one try so we can use only one finally block but we, uh, we can use catch multiple uh, catch we can use with a try block no problem as per our requirement okay but catch will execute at that situation when a exception will arise okay but finally will be execute each and every time okay either exception will arise or not okay understood okay. now i'm going to create some other examples yes hello after finally after actually finally we use after catch not in mid we can also use try within the finally if you want to create a try block so you can also create in try block in finally block here at the place of this we can use Okay, but one minute we can check it. If you have any doubt, one minute. It can be possible. Uh, suppose uh, number format. We can check it. It working or not? Okay. Error. So actually, we use finally at the end of this catch list, not in mid. Okay. We can use this catch. Okay. Done. Now I'm going to create another example. Rest of all, any other Pradesh, Vishwa, Kirtana, Manisha, sorry. Any doubt, any queries? Okay, okay, good. Okay, good. Uh, okay, this is another example. Suppose I am going to create a one minute. In last example, I want to check, change something. Here, you can see this. 
uh, here uh, I'm calling here creating uh, calc method. Okay. And after that, here we are calling set value and object. Both are the method of calc method. But suppose we want to create this. Declare here. Private. Okay. But uh, you can see here it's showing error because this is a non static and we are calling in a static block. So actually, we cannot call a non static method in a static block. So we will make this as a static. Okay. Okay. No problem. It's working. No problem. You can see here. No error has removed. Okay, now I'm going to execute this again. Suppose here I'm using 10 to run is counting null pointer exception as a rise. Okay, Java that lang dot null pointer exception. What is the meaning this? Actually, here I use the only reference of this class. We have not object of calc. Okay, so first of all, we will create the object of calc Okay, after that we are going to execute this. It's working, no problem. Okay, so if you will get an exception like a null pointer exception, it means you have not object of that class. So here we have not object of calc method but uh, we are calling the method of that class so in this situation null pointer exception will arise understood we have not object of that class but we are calling method of that class in this situation null pointer uh, exception will arise must you remember this because uh, in further classes, you will get many times this exception, null pointer exception. There are many situations uh, at the uh, we are not getting object of a particular class, but we are calling method of that class. Then, exception uh, null pointer exception will arise. So, if you will get this exception, so first first of all check. Uh, which object we are not getting okay so try to clear that uh, we are not getting the object of which class okay try to get the object of that class after that you can execute it so if uh, you will get the exception like null pointer exception means you have not object of that class and you are trying to call method of that class so it will show null pointer exception Okay, and uh, other type exceptions like suppose we have a array
okay which uh, which exception will arise at run time have you any idea yes because i am using equal length are index or bound exception because we have only five object five elements and here i am using equal sign mean position of fifth so uh, if uh, we want try we, we are trying to call any element that is a out of limit then it will show index array index of outbound exception if we remove this then it will work properly okay same as i'm going to create another class demo2 Price. I input any number. Okay. Input mismatch exception because uh, here we are writing only numbers values, but here here I input e or symbol, a letter or symbol. Then at the place of number here, price in price we cannot input a letter or symbol. So if we are uh, input a later number at the place of uh, numbers then it will show input mismatch exception okay same as suppose we have another enter Enterprise. Okay, and here I use a string. Okay, and here next only next. Okay, so after that I want to type cost in double. Okay. Double dot value of item okay then suppose we have some numbers and uh, any later and we are trying to convert in a, a type costing so here number format exception 
because uh, this have a, a letter. A string have this is a string here. We can input any type of values. Okay, means we can input letter, number, symbol. We can input anything. But we cannot in type class. Suppose we want to try to convert in double. But the value, this value contain e, e, e represent 10 to the power. It will work. But suppose we are using any other things. It will show number format exception. So uh, we can put anything because we are using a string. But if you add the time of type costing, it will found any uh, letter or symbol at the place of number. So it will show number format exception. Okay. So these are the some different types of exception, and uh, in other classes like uh, thread and uh, file in uh, file io and in other topics we will get different types of exception okay so these are the some basic uh, exceptions okay next suppose uh, so i think try catch throw and finally it's okay now I'm going to create a uh, example of uh, throw T H R O W throw. Okay, so are you know about what is throw? What is the use of throw? Any doubt? Any queries? Rest of members? Kirtana, Nirmala. Okay, okay. Now suppose uh, uh, now we are going to create the example of throw T H R O W throw. If we want to, it is a very important. At the time of development of uh, any software, throw. So, what is the use of throw? Actually, if you want to create a user defined exception, you can see this. I think uh, here, these are the uh, this uh, highlight. Where is highlight? Yes, yeah, you can see this. These are the predefined exception classes that will exit that will arise that will execute at a particular situation okay if input output if uh, we are getting any uh, sub file is not found uh, file is not exist you are uh, it, it is uh, uh, getting any error in file so io exception will arise or if suppose arithmetic exception we are trying to divide by zero then uh, uh, ex arithmetic exception will arise null pointer exception if you have not object and we are trying to call uh, the method of that class then null pointer exception will arise if you want to convert it uh, data type to another data type at that time uh, number uh, format can be uh, arise the same as array index are bound okay so a fixed situation uh, all uh, classes all exception classes will execute will arise at the at a specific situation okay but suppose you want to create a user defined exception and want to arise that uh, exception uh, according to your situation suppose you have any situation and you want to arise that exception so for this purpose we use throw with the help of throw, we can create user defined exception. Okay. And we can arise according to our situation. Okay. So, how to use a, a throw? So, now I'm going to create a simple example for throw. Here.
So for demo class, We want to execute this program five times. And uh, if you want to use I catch sorry throw so must be used we can use throw within the try block catch and we can declare any exception So we can specify a condition. So through uh, work or a specific condition. So like like suppose here I have declared a uh, condition like marks is equal to hundred. If a student will get hundred percent marks, then it will throw a user defined exception like through object of any predefined or uh, user defined class object okay so here new suppose uh, we want to throw it uh, object of arithmetic exception okay so we can specify we can use any class here no problem okay here i use arithmetic exception okay so it will throw object of if a student will get 100% mark then it will throw object of arithmetic exception okay so here we will use uh, a user defined message at the place of predefined so here uh, like uh, okay so if any this uh, if a student will get 100% marks then through through the object of arithmetic exception okay and catch will receive that object and show this message okay now i'm going to execute this uh, we can also declare another thing like here we can specify another condition like uh, if Mars is greater or equal than 75 and Mars is less than 100 then get equal then 60 and mass is less than 70 
Хорошо. Zero and mass is less less than sixty. Are you sure? Red block. Else. Forty-five, red block. Sixty-five, yellow block. Eighty-five, green block. Hundred, well done. Seventy-seven, green. Okay, working. No problem. So here, as you can see, yes, we can give any exception class. It will throw if uh, this condition will satisfy. Then it will throw. Object of arithmetic exception. Okay, at the place of this class, we can also use user defined class. Okay, so suppose here I use a user defined x class like arith exception. So arith arith is not exist. It is a not a class. So here we also use arith here. Okay, but you can see it's showing error because arith exception is not a class. Okay, so we can create a class. Okay, but okay, but here it's showing error. Okay. So how to resolve this? So this is no, this class is empty class. So at the place of this, we can extend this class exception. So it's this is also a exception class. Now, okay. Now we can execute this. Okay, well done. No problem. Okay, it's working. So we can also use a user defined class. Only create a class and extend exception or runtime exception. We can use both. Any one exception. A runtime exception. Okay, okay. Now we can execute this. Invalid entry. Well done. It's working. No problem. Second thing, here we can use any one, runtime exception and exception. So, what are the difference between exception and runtime exception? Actually, if we will use runtime exception, so that class, this class will be a unchecked exception. Okay, because all unchecked exception here you can see this is a subclass of runtime exception. These are unchecked exception. Runtime exception are unchecked exception. So if we use, we extend runtime exception. So this class will be a unchecked exception. If we use only exception, so this class will be a checked exception. Okay. 
Understood? Okay. Suppose. Uh, and second thing, if you want to pass any value from here, it also possible. You can pass. Okay. Actually, this is a constructor. So we can pass here. We, can, we have need of this class. So we can create a public. From this constructor, we are passing exception case. Okay, now I'm going to execute again. Exception case, well done. So, if a user, a student will get 100% mark, that will show exception case, well done. Okay, so same as we can create any user defined exception. Okay, with any name. Only create a class and extend exception or runtime exception. It will work like as a predefined exception. And we can specify a condition here and uh, it works within the try block. So there are multiple differences between throws and throw. Throws uh, is used, uh, you can use at the place of try block. But uh, throw we use within the try block and within the try block and throw we can use only within the method. Here we are using main method. But throws will always use outside of the method. It will show with the signature of method. If like here. outside of the met method we use here outside of the method okay and it will execute uh, we have uh, we have not declared any method any condition for throws but throws for throws we use a specific condition that will execute uh, in a, a specific condition okay so that are difference between throws and throw so mostly we uh, throw uh, mostly we use throw for Use the divine exception. Okay. Understood. Any doubt? Any queries? Rest of all. Okay. Good. Very down. Very low volume. Who is this? Are you boring? Kirtana, Nirmala, any doubt, any queries? Okay, please check this. If all are present or not, other others members, Prijesh. Hari Prakash, Kirtana, Nirmala, Pradesh, Vishwa. Okay, any doubt, Vishwa? Okay. Pradesh, Pradesh, Nirmala, Kirtana, Hari Prakash. Okay, Pradesh. Okay. Please check it. Uh, if you have any doubt, any queries, you can share with me. Okay.